What's up, guys? It's your girl Kanai from Big Bay Road TV, and you're tuning in to episode five. Let's go! What's up, you guys? So, in today's episode, we're going to be making strawberry filled cannolis. These cannolis originated from Italy, but today we're going to be making them at home. If you never had cannolis, you can find them at your local grocery store, Publix, maybe Walmart, but I saw them at Publix, so most likely Publix. But today we're going to be making them at home like i said so let's go ahead and get straight into it we have some pastries and we're going to be wrapping them around aluminum foil and then frying them so let's get to wrapping okay so before you do this make sure you have your oil warmed up already so it's ready when you're ready to fry it so it's basically just simple steps you just Put the foil in there and then just roll it up. So you roll it around a piece of foil and then get some water and put it on there so it can stick. Like that. And we're probably going to put them in there like three, four at a time. So we can make the process faster. And the water is to make sure they don't unravel in the grease. Okay, so I have my mom on the side helping me because I never made these before and I'm scared of oil. <laughs> I think I could put one Okay, so while we wait on that, I can explain to you guys what we're going to be using for the strawberry filling. So, we have a cup of mashed strawberries, a cup of heavy whipped cream. This is actually pre-whipped. As you can see, a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla abstract down here. And then we have eight ounces of cream cheese. And then once those are finished, we're going to roll them in cinnamon sugar. And then we're going to let them place, we're going to place them to the side. And then that's when we'll fill them up. So back to these. So we're flipping them over as they, like, as they get into a gold. Maybe this one should stay a little bit longer.
Okay, so now we're just gonna pull the corner off. Okay, so we're gonna wrap some more. Alright guys, so last one. Okay, so now on to the filling. First thing we're gonna do is the couple of strawberries. To our bowl, half a cup of sugar, cream cheese, and vanilla extract. So let's try to squish our cream cheese in there. I told you guys when I mentioned the ingredients that we're going to be using a little bit of lemon juice as well. I I forgot to say that, but I'm not sure. This looks disgusting, but we're not going to judge it till it's done. So we're smashing the cream cheese in as we are mixing. So we're gonna squeeze Too much, just a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Just to get a little more flavor in it. So now we're going in with the fork because these chunks is not cutting yet. So we're gonna try to mix this up as best as we can because we need a smooth consistency just trying to smooth out the cream cheese a little we need like that whipped cream base but we're not gonna really get that until add in our whipped cream but we need to make sure it's smooth before we can add that in right now we might have to go in with the mixer you guys because we need a powerful mix and this fork is not getting the job done either. 
So she's back, y'all see? She always come through. So let's let her do what she has to do so we can move on to the next step. Okay, I need a few more mixes, then we can go ahead and add the, the um, wet cream. Okay, this is the consistency we're looking for. Now, time to add a whipped cream. This is one cup of whipped cream. Okay, so this looks about ready. I'm just gonna finish hand mixing it a little bit. This is done. You know. See how easy that was? It took like five minutes. So now, we're going to put it into our piping bag so it's just squeeze it in the canoes. Okay, so where do I start? <laughs> so we're having technical difficulties over here. Next time, don't put that much. Just put some, and then it. So you think I should take some out? Yes. So how am I gonna squeeze it? I can't squeeze it like that. Okay, guys, so we're transferring to a Ziploc bag because it's, I filled it up too much. Okay, so take two. But with the zip lock. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Okay. So 
put up halfway. And then halfway like this. All right, you guys, that wraps up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm gonna go enjoy these. So if you wanna try them, if you're interested, just go ahead and go down below. All the ingredients you need will be down below. So go ahead and try them. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.